T-ball hitting practice is for developing and grooving a better swing, understanding contact points, and visualizing pitched balls. All those things are compromised when with incorrect coaching practices. Coaches encourage players to practice as they play, then proceed to miss that idea when it comes to players hitting off a batting tee. Take a moment and tell me what you see wrong with these t-ball batting practice pictures, and I am not talking about my swing. If you needed more time to find at least five coaching mistakes, then watch further. Maybe the most familiar mistake I see is letting players stare at balls before hitting. Their eyes should begin out as if facing a pitcher before visualizing the pitch release, tracking it in their mind, striding, and then looking at the ball at contact. Nothing is ungame-like as staring at the ball on the tee. Sometimes that mistake is preceded by allowing players to walk up to the tee without measuring their distance from home. Players should distance themselves from home plate as in games and not from the batting tee itself. Coaches may have to have players set themselves first without the tee and then place one down so players do not cheat on the correct distance. The above suggests another regular coaching oversight. Having a batting tee but no home plate or no separate home plate is not game-like practice either. T-ball hitting is only realistic when players stand the same spot they do in games and when contact is made in the correct spots for pitch location. That is difficult without a setup according to a home plate. Some batting tees have a plate attached, but an extra home plate is still necessary to work on different pitch locations. Another regular lapse is setting the batting tee at waist or thigh high and in the middle of the plate. The feedback from hitting this easiest of pitches is minimal. Having players hit balls at knee high or letter high and on the corners gives the best swing feedback. Pitches between those will come easy once the swing is good on the tougher pitch locations. Another popular error is hitting close to a backstop when there is more room to see the flight of balls. Many balls appear to be hit well when traveling a short distance, but in reality, they are probably outs in games. Evaluating ball flight is crucial to knowing when the swing is correct and the ball's ultimate destination. When possible, the batting tee should be set as far from the screen as room allows. When a short space is all that's possible, hanging an object that designates direction and trajectory of the batted ball helps. Finally, many coaches fail to set balls the correct distance out front of hitters. The tee should be set five, eight, five to eight inches in front of the hitter on low pitches and about a foot in front on high pitches. Avoiding the above T mistakes helps coaches look professional and they help players translate batting tee practice to game action. Hope to see you over at my baseball coaching website at www.baseballcoachingtips.net for more great baseball information.